Hey everybody, welcome back to Heartland Productions. It's another crazy hot night here in Austin. It's almost 100 degrees out. Tico and I are excited to show you what we're gonna to cook tonight. We're gonna to be doing wood-fired salmon and asparagus in the Gosney Dome. Just getting the fire going right now, so stay tuned. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's free, it takes about two seconds. Stay tuned. So while wow, the fire's getting all heated up and the dome's getting nice and warm inside, I'm gonna quickly show you how I prepare the asparagus. This is simple. First thing I do is one of the tips I like to use is that a lot of times the stalk of the asparagus is very fibery and chewy. So a lot of people just cut it with a knife, but sometimes you're not 100% sure where to cut it. Like if you cut it right here, it's this section is still gonna be very fibery. One of the little tricks I've learned is that if you grab the end and hold it here and just kind of gently bend it, it breaks off right at the right spot every time. Here's another again. Just kind of hold it here and here. Just gently squeeze it and it'll snap. Where it snaps is the perfect spot where it's going to be nice and tender. So you can just do that. Then I add just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Kind of mix them up a little bit. Then what I like to put on this too is that this, you can use just salt and pepper. I love this Greek seasoning. It's all natural, there's no MSG. It's just basically salt, garlic, black pepper, oregano, sage. That's pretty much it. I'll put a link to this in the description too. So liberally season this, stir them up good. Just threw a large piece of oak in the fire. It's getting it much hotter than I really need it. So I'm going to let it burn down just a little bit more. You can see right now. You can see now it's almost at eight, it's 790 degrees, 791 Fahrenheit. Fire's going nice and hot now. Actually, I'm gonna let it cool down just for a second. So while it's cooling down, we're gonna go ahead and get the, the cast iron skillet ready for the asparagus. You don't have to have a ridged one like this. That's just the only one I have big enough. The other one, big one I have, I'm gonna be using for the salmon. So you don't really need to add any oil or anything else to this. Also, when you're using the wood fire, make sure you have your wood burning gloves. These are just heavy duty welding gloves. Make sure you have those. I'm just gonna place the asparagus in, very simple. Just kind of put it in nice and neat. Kind of line them in. We're a family of five, so I'm gonna load this thing up. You don't have to put as many in there. Just kind of spread them out nice and even. You wanna mix it nicer and flat. Again, you don't have to do anything else. There's already oil and seasoning on it, so when the oven cools down a little bit we'll stick these in for about 15 minutes i'm going to go ahead and put the asparagus in right now the fire's starting to go down a little bit and stabilize i'm going to get my gloves on at least one of them slide this in kind of right in the middle there I can use my glove to get that out when it's hot, or I also have this other dare built. It's a poker, and then it also has that hook on the end where I can actually put it in. You can go slide it in there and use that as a tool. If you don't have a glove, it's very handy too. So this should take about 15 minutes or so. So while the asparagus is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and get the salmon out of the fridge and get ready. I have this beautiful salmon. This is Atlantic salmon. Um, you don't really have to heat up the pan with salmon because I'm not gonna really worrying about searing it like a steak. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and set it in the pan right now. I'm gonna cover it with just a little bit of olive oil just to kind of help the salt and pepper stick. And then I'm gonna liberally put a little bit of fine sea salt. And make sure you get the edges. There we go. We're gonna do the same thing with some fresh cracked pepper there we go now I'm gonna go check the asparagus it's been about five minutes we're gonna kind of make sure it doesn't get too charred on the top I have my glove back on I'm gonna just check the asparagus look at that looking great kind of stir it around make sure it looks good perfect stick that back in 
Probably about another five minutes. It's been 10 minutes. It's time to get the asparagus out. Oh yeah, look at those. Those look absolutely beautiful, don't they? Let's set these down. One thing I like to do too, is so you don't forget, always put your glove on the handle so you don't accidentally grab it. It only takes one time doing that to learn your lesson. I like it when it's nice and hot, I like to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese. So, I like a lot of cheese. And then once the salmon's done, I'll pop it back in just for a second to get that nice and melted on the top too. All right, it's good. let's go and get the salmon in. It's been around five minutes. I'm just gonna pull that out to check. Oh yeah, it's looking great. It's getting nice and kind of a pink color. Probably another, probably three or four minutes. I'll check it again. Maybe put a little bit more wood on the top to get a nice char on top. That she goes. Not sure if I mentioned it earlier. The temperature of the oven's around 500 and it's ranged anywhere around 600 degrees is when I started cooking it. I had said at the beginning I was gonna shoot for 400, but uh, the piece of oak I put on was way too big, so it took forever to cool down. So I just gauged and kind of adjusted my temperature. So instead of the 15 minutes, it actually is probably gonna take more around 10 minutes for both the asparagus and the salmon. It's been just about eight minutes. I'm gonna check it. And what I'm gonna do is that I'm actually gonna make an espresso barbecue glaze to go on top of the salmon. Well, I'm not gonna actually make it. I have a espresso barbecue I'm gonna to use to glaze this. So as I mentioned, I want this to cook around 10 minutes at the temperature. So it's just around 550 degrees Fahrenheit now. I'm gonna pull this out. Look at that. Perfect, it's almost completely done. So I wanna make sure I put the barbecue glaze on then put it in there for another minute or two to finish it off. Let's get it on the table, quickly glaze it. Again, make sure you put your glove on the handle so you don't accidentally grab it. Now I'm gonna put the barbecue glaze on. I like to use this, this is Franklin Barbecue Espresso Sauce. It's great, I'll put a link to this in my description also. I let the salmon cook about eight minutes total. The 10 minutes was kind of my target, so I'm taking it out with two minutes to spare. I want to put this on so it gets a nice glaze. Be generous, kind of just brush it on, make sure you get all the ends. Man, this smells beautiful. Okay, that's all I need to do. Let's get this back in for another minute or two to make a nice glaze. Time to get it back in the oven, put my glove on. Slide it in, put it in there one minute, two minutes tops to get that glaze to set nice. Been in there just a little bit over a minute. Let's check. Oh, that looks delicious. Look at that. The barbecue sauce is perfectly nice and glazed on there. Let's get it out. Let's pop the asparagus in for a second just to make sure the cheese all melts and let's go in and eat. Gonna pop the asparagus just back in for a second to heat it one more second. Literally just a few seconds. Look at that. That looks great. What I would use just a fish spatula to get underneath it and pull it right out. And it'll be perfect. This temperature doesn't take long to heat up. There you go, wood-fired salmon with an espresso barbecue glaze and wood-fired asparagus with Parmesan cheese, olive oil, and a little bit of seasoning on top of it. Very simple, very easy, makes for a great dinner. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this. Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it and take some time, watch some of the other videos. Hope you guys have a good night. These look great, let's get these inside. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next week.